You will be pleased to know that nothing bad and scary happens at all this episode. Absolutely nothing. Super calm, super chill. No jump scares. What are you waiting for? Genuinely, there are no moments to show here. Just move on and enjoy the video. Oh, you thought I was going to put something scary here, didn't you? Nope, nothing bad happens here at all. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, I really do promise that nothing too devastatingly, soul-crushingly bad happens. In fact, I think this is my most successful episode yet. By the end of this, you will know why. Today, we took on the challenge of building our brand new home from scratch. Welcome to my new home. We've moved, well, no, no. To say we've been moved would be a little bit preemptive. We are in the process of moving to the beach this is the beach and we came across the last episode because we kind of wanted we wanted to build a place that was away from where we'd been to be able to go and explore new things and basically to get away from that godforsaken cave that we've had so many problems with so we're building an outpost on the very northeasterly edge of the map we're gonna build it with stone this time so we managed to pick up anakin this is anakin everybody say hello to anakin What's... Oh, Anakin's saying you better like and subscribe. Yeah. If I don't say call to actions, if I don't actually say subscribe, people genuinely forget to. It's like a thing. The official... When you're a YouTube partner, you get access to a bunch of creator things, and they actually tell you, ask people to subscribe because they forget. So, Anakin's asking you very nicely to subscribe. We kind of cocked up. We had a bit of a cock up and we forgot Anakin's saddle way back down on the uh, the south edge here. So what I'm going to do is build a platform of just wooden one. Just so we can get a smithy, the forge on the go, get some metal done. As we then expand what I'm thinking is going to be... Um, we're probably going to have it, I'm thinking, like up here. Like, just kind of this bit here. Just a little house. It's going to be really good. But I'm thinking more of a less of a big single grand structure like we had of the castle. And maybe a more simple, just a really simple home. And then we'll have like little, almost like a village, like little bits here and there maybe. We were going to need a ton of resources. So we decided to make a small group of foundations so we could build things like a storage box and a forge to begin with. This wasn't the beginning of our base yet, but it would allow us to work a bit more efficiently. Uh, put that there, that there. Oh, I didn't mean that for to be there, but actually that could work. No, actually I lied. That can't work. How do I pick it up again? There we go. And then we're going to put this one down. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Right, so we need to build a couple of things here. First, let's get... Wait, wait. I'm sure we picked up a furnace. Oh, we got a bed. That would be useful to put that down. Bed and a furnace, right. Uh, does the bed have to be placed somewhere where it's covered? No, not really. Right, bed can go right there. This is... I need I need this on the go constantly, probably. Because we've got a ton of metal that we need to kind of keep up with. Right, there we are. I'm going to need 10 ingots. Because I need 10 ingots to be able to build the saddle for Anakin that we forgot. So... Um, we might go for a little trek just round here just to see, just up the hill to see if there is any metal bits. Anything else? Did we bring anything else that we need? How, what do we need to do to build a smithy as well? We need the smithy. We need, so we need 15 ingots total. Right, so we pretty much are just going to need some metal, which I don't think that we have, so... Indeed, we would need some more metal. I really wanted to try the saddle on Anakin to see what he was like gathering stone. So we prioritized being able to do this by getting as much metal as we could. Let's go. Is that is that some? Is that some? Did we find some? Did we actually? I think we did. Yes. Oh, fan. Oh, yes. This this is the place. This is the place. We did have to end up going quite far to get metal in the old place. Like, the, the castle was the most scenic place we could possibly live. And it was wonderful because we were new to the game and, you know, everything was wondrous. 
this is like a little bit more you know advanced new places so we need more resources so we need to be able to get them easier save the game so that's what we're doing now and it's brilliant oh look look at this insane wait how many do i get with one hit with this i'm trying to figure out what's better that was 16 a purple one of these oh definitely that jesus well I figured that one out pretty quickly i was saying I, i'm stuck in the rock and physically proper stuck right now oh that's because i'm full <laughs> Having some metal rocks this close to base was a big plus. We grabbed what we could, and on the way back to the outpost, we thought we might as well start building our army up again. Hey up, duck. I'll tell you what I need. More dinos, so you can come join the fam. Might as well get a start on this, eh? Wonderful. And then I... It was a couple of them, isn't it? Taming. Level 10. That'll do. Look, there's all these things as well, which, like, just, like, float about. They don't really do anything. Nice. All right. Metal. Let's get it furnace in. That's definitely not the right adjective. Let's get it smelting. So, metal goes in wood, which Derek has. Yep, loads of wood. We'll take that. Uh, I can't wait till I can ride this, Anakin. All right, get that in there. Light that fire. Right, just get that on the go. So, um, let me think. Oh, I've actually... Where where did I say I was going to build again? I didn't finish this thought because I got distracted by my worst enemy. Oh, piss off. Imagine if I killed this. Actually, you can't do anything. I could kill this. I will kill this. <laughs> How much health do you have, bitch? <laughs> Come on. I'll kill your friend as well once I'm done. <gasps> I got it. I got it. Oh, what do you give me? This crossbow is sublime. You'll do nothing. You are all fart and no shit. Oh, God, you got more friends. Let the whole family... Let me just clear out your family tree while I'm at it. Whoa! Hold up, hold up. There we go. Okay. I want to be gently... Oh, oh, here we go. Oh! Wait, what is that? looks like turkish delight shit what is that oh spoils very quickly wait 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 make your campfire make your campfire quick no make uh we got we have a fireplace we have a fireplace no Derek, give me a fireplace Derek, come here fireplace fireplace please wait where's the fire oh no fireplace is in the storage can we make a fireplace just here and then we can cook cook cook, cook, cook all of the prime meat that is exactly what we did. We really didn't want the meat going to waste, so we wanted to cook as much of it as possible to capitalize on our shark kill. We built a fireplace, which we had brought on Derek, and a campfire to maximize the amount of meat cooking at one time. We also decided to build a preservative fridge. I definitely want one of the preservative fridges as well. All right, so the campfire is good to go. Get the campfire. God, this is a fast start, isn't it? And then we put some wood in there. And then just a couple of bits of that. Then we light that fire. I also want to look at the preserving thing really quickly. Preserve. Right, what do we need for that? We just need more wood. Fantastic. Really, really easy to get. So I'll get some of that. Because then I can put more of the prime meat in there. But then we need spark powder. Which we need flint and stone. So we need to get some flint. I know the game now. I don't even need to look at guys. I just have this intuition. That's what you can call it. Intuition. And you can't teach it. You're born with it. So without looking, without even double checking, because I'm that confident myself, I'm just going to go and gather myself a bunch of flint. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to need some stone as well, but use a pickaxe to get... Sorry, use the axe to get the stone, not the pickaxe, because that would be absolutely ridiculous. Also, save the game. When you come through here, we're going to go on the crafting. 
and then we're going to go preserving. We're going to get that crafting, and then once we do that, we'll need the mortar and pestle. Now, I already have a mortar and pestle because I thought this ahead. The mortar and pestle is actually located in the large storage unit, so I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take the storage unit out, and then just in front of all of the fires here, I'm going to put that down there. Brilliant. And then I accidentally turned that off, but that's okay. I was just checking that there was a fire in there, and that's a really quick way to do that. And then what I want to do is, look, flint and stone. I already knew that, okay? I'm so good at the game. Where's all my flint? The flint's always here. Yep. And then we're going to craft a load of that. While that's crafting, because we want to save as much time as possible, we're going to bring the preserving bin down here. And then we're going to place that there. Fantastic. And then what this means is that once we put the spark powder in, we're then going to be able to um, basically stop all of this decaying. And because we've got the shark there and another two sharks, we're going to be able to get a ton of prime meat that we can give. Now we had everything we needed for food management, it was time to move on to finishing the saddle for Anakin, and for that, we needed hide. So as our furnaces glowed as the night began to descend, we headed up the coast in search for things to kill. Why is this specific place glowing? That's just the sun, right? There's not... Holy shit, look at all of these! Oh, we could get a proper little army here, right. Oh god, it'll help if I hit them. <sighs> Jesus Christ, just hit them. Am I using the right bow here? Yeah, he's down. Come on, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. These must be higher level ones, these ones. Jeez, oh. Alright, you're down, and then... Shit, can't see a thing. Okay. No, no, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Fuck off. Fuck off, I need this alive. I'll take your hide as well. Right, okay, now, put a couple of bits of meat in. Oh, right. Oh, we could get such a big family here. Right, couple of bits of meat in there. And just like that, a handful of minions to add to Dino's army. Getting that many that quickly filled me with confidence. And this was immediately shattered when we discovered that this beach might not be as safe as we hoped. <gasps> oh, no. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> what level is this? What level is this? Bowlers, do they work? No, no, they don't. No, they don't. Trank arrows. Quick, 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 quick. Surely we couldn't. Surely we couldn't. Surely we couldn't. I don't know how many need to go to sleep. But while it's attacking that, we just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Ah! Why do you not sleep? Why do you not sleep? I only have six bullets left. Why do I keep missing? Oh! <gasps> oh! Shit! Oh god, right, 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 really quickly. Um. Oh! Give it, give it some of that, but then we go back and get the prime. You, you lot, come with me. I'm gonna get the, the fish prime. That'll be quicker. Right, quickly. Go, 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 go. No way we just did that to a T Rex. No way we just did that to a T Rex. We did do that to a T-Rex and yeeted back for the prime meat before returning to shove it down the dino's gullet. And then we realised this was a buy one, get one free. Oh shit, oh my god, we could have a baby one as well. Shh, don't say anything, don't attack me either, okay? Look, I'm just feeding. Just feeding, right, that goes in there. You lot were meant to stay. Oh boy, this has happened. I was only meant to be building something. Building a base and accidentally, boom, here we go. Here we go, 31% tamed. Oh, this is, oh, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Brian's going to have some friends. What level is this? 
40. And what level are you? For oh, so they're both the same level, 40 and 40. What this has told us, though, is that there are going to be some dangerous animals that patrol this area. So we are going to need some defences. Big walls, defensive creatures, that sole job is to just chill. See if anything invades. Dare I ask what level you are? 10. We need the hide. We do need the hide. Fuck it. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Oh, wrong, 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 wrong arrow, wrong arrow. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Derek! Help me! Oh, what was that? Why did it stop me? Shit, I pressed the wrong button. I just need to hide. I just need to hide. Why is it only 49? This should be doing ma- Oh my god, it's going to be armoured, isn't it? Oh, I may have fucked up here. May have fucked up here, troops. So, right, we've got loads of arrows. We'll just take our time. We'll just take our time. Think of the hide. It's for the greater good. For the greater good. Oh, shit. Does a bowler work? Oh, don't go that way. No, it does not. Don't waste it. little one i'm sorry i'm sorry but listen you can come join me now <laughs> oh we got our first triceratops but only because we killed his mom uh was this male or female uh let's go for tommy oh it's female never mind it's 2023 uh right don't look but we can get a bunch of hide Oh, not that much. Right, and the Rex is doing well still. And we got, we got ourselves our first Triceratops. Kind of sad, the whole, how it happened, but... Yikes. He's just looking like, whoa! Whoa! What happened to you? Yo, what happened to your Dad! Or mom! And he's like, oh, I don't know, this guy just came along, shot some arrows in and hit him, now he's sleeping! He went sleeping. Oh, my mom's sleeping too. My, my mom is sleeping too. What do you see? He hit him with this stick. And then she vanished. So I'm hoping she's gone somewhere safe to get better. And this guy just hasn't, you know. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> do you know? Do you know? Who'd have thunk, eh? Who'd have thunk? I'd be T-Magging a T-Rex. Oh, it's a good life. We patiently waited on the coastline of our new home for the T-Rex to be tamed. This was a very good start to life on the East Coast. Yes! He's up. She's up. I've got a cool idea for a name. Look, Trick. Where'd the baby go? No, 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 no. I don't know. Oh, God, no. Listen, you are not getting abandoned. Do you know what this one's going to be called? Oh, wait. Trick or treat. Look, get it? Trick. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, look at that. With the moon. Oh, my God. Our establishment just got a whole lot safer. A whole lot safer. God, he's even bigger than Brian. Look at this. This is this is just wonderful. This is just wonderful. Right, you wait there. Save the game. To make things even better, we now had all the hide we needed to build a saddle and throw it on Anakin. Are we ready? Three. Two, one. Oh! <laughs> He's so slow. That's cool, though. That's a shuffle. And then, what? That's the, that's like the normal attack. 
And then the right click is... A bite. Oh, okay. Nice. Right, let's test it out. Everybody said that this was the best uh, rock and metal. I think it was this one. Otherwise, we made a grave mistake. Here we go. It turned out that Anakin was better for flint rather than stone. So we ended up using our axe, which yielded more. Still, it was cool to have Anakin in the clan. A lot of time today was spent bashing rocks and hacking at trees. I'm sure you can imagine how enthralling this was. So please forgive me for omitting it on today's story. But after a while, I felt like it was time to lay the very first foundations for our new base. I had a rough idea of what I was going for, a modest sized building, nothing too fancy or big, but it had to be made out of stone. So I need to really have a think about where we are going to build. I like that this is a little bit of flat ground here. I'm thinking we build out around here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to place the first one down. It's kind of like... Bosh. First step. First step of many, but it's down. Oh, wait. I probably should have sunk that down into the ground a little bit. But that's okay. Now we just need to make a load more. So I don't really know what I'm going for here. There isn't too much planning, if I'm going to be honest. It's just kind of do it and see what happens. I think... I don't, I don't want to build a massive place. I want a real kind of cozy, nothing too big. Don't want to bite off more than I can chew sort of thing. Um, let's... Uh, I'm a little bit worried about that. What level is that? Oh, 95. Sweet Jesus. Okay, that's a problem. If that starts fighting us, that is a problem. After a short while, we had laid all of our foundations. And whilst it might appear quite small, I can assure you it is perfectly adequate. Thank you very much. Nice. Right. I'm thinking, to be honest... Look, it's just me. This might be suitable for the space for one. I think. Yeah, because we're going to have more outside space, aren't we? This is suitable. This is fine. This, that's fine. Okay, right. All we need now is just some more st uh, wood. So, just going to give that there. And then we'll go get some wood. Okay. We needed Foundations the wood, down. it was now time to start thinking about the doorways of this home. I have a habit, just in any video game that involves base building, of just building a square which looks like a cardboard box. I was determined to make this one look more real, more lived in, more sexy. We could, I'm wondering, like, make the base stone, but then have like a wooden roof. That would look kind of cool, wouldn't it? Be quite cosy. Right, so we want a... We're going to put a doorway here, and then I'm also actually going to put a doorway... There. And there, I'm thinking. Just means we can then enter from any kind of way that we want. And then... Uh, what's that? Oh, double doorway. Ah. Oh. Three doorways to improve the ease of access into the home, as well as a bunch of windows for two reasons. One, to be able to see outside if shit hit the fan, and two, to let the beautiful fresh air in. You can tell I was getting better at the game as well, because I did the real professional move of putting stairs in early on, something that I neglected to do back at the castle. No more twatting my forehead off on ceiling beams when I was trying to jump into the base. All jokes aside though, we were getting better at the game. We started to understand the systems of the game and the processes that make things more efficient. I'm sure I am still doing a thousand things wrong according to the Ark Monks, but for me, this improvement was starting to show. I really like that it's the system that I've got here. I basically hack shit, bring my, my dinos with the best weight capabilities with me. 
and then just like give them that and then it saves me having to run back and forth back and forth back and forth i only have to do it once uh who's this this is treat is he the smaller one i can't remember minus the roof the infrastructure of this building was now complete stairs to each of the doorways included now it was time to start adding the doors and the windows nice there we have got some stairs here brilliant right now what we need is doors so we'll have a look at the door what options do we have there's thatch stone reinforced doors and windows all right so one two three four five six seven eight we might need more than that i hope we can switch these Oh, look at this. Oh, good morning. Oh, well, that's going to bug me. Hold up. That needs to go the other way. Hi. Ah, there we go. So then I can be like, there we go. So that opens that way. And that, okay. That's good. That's good. Enjoy that. Right. These, what I'll do just to be quirky is use these like a hatch so they go that like that this one can just go like that these are like a hatch no never mind there we go right two more of them and door cool save the game right so now we have the doors and the hatches that looks awesome no oh I enjoy that that's brilliant that is brilliant okay right what are we doing now what do we do now we cannot well we need to we need to put a roof on but i don't i don't want to make it look like a box box i'm honestly really tempted to just make the the roof out of wood i just think it looks cool and that is exactly what we did making roofs can always be a bit challenging for me anyway Anytime I ever try in any video game ever, it just makes the roof look absolutely massive compared to the rest of the building. Kind of like a gnome with a really tall hat. We couldn't visualize the end product, so we decided to just start building and go with the flow. I mean, if I could build some flat, so... I, I just want to see what actually what the corner one looks like. I know that's a thing. Like that, and then... Wait, wait, what? Oh, wait, are they upside down. I think these are upside down. Why do they look so, what was, have I used a different, did I use the floor then or something? That's the actual roof, what is going on? Oh, that's why. I put them in as ramps, didn't I? So we'll try that again, but seven. Here we go. This is what I was imagining. Okay, there we go. Right, and then now I think it's just wood wall. Or do I make those bits stone? This is nice, isn't it? I might make it stone. No. No, I'll make it wood. Just because I've got loads of wood. So, crafting walls. <laughs> I am right. Am I? Uh... I like a glove. Right, give me three more of them. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Bosh! There we go. There we go. Save the game. Holy hell, save the game. Right, let me show... I mean, <laughs> the windows look... Fucking no, these windows look okay. The one at the back. There we go. We have a little cabin, an actual cabin. That looks stupid as fuck. I'm actually, I'm actually, you know what? That's so stupid. That whole thing's coming away, and we're building a new one. Just, I don't. We don't need a window at the back. There we are. That'll do. And then we got the windows at the front, the sides. This is majestic. This is majestic. Right, so we need some uh, light. I mean, no, actually, we don't need lighting, do we? Because we can just open these. Let the light flood in. Nature's light. Whoa, what's going on with those two like that? Oh, well. Right, let's start moving some stuff over. So I know in the storage unit we have... Um, 
Oh, we'll take a table and we'll put it in there. Uh, what are we thinking? I kind of want that campfire outside. We, we're not... The inside is going to be more for kind of like living and chilling, um, hiding from the elements, recovering. And then we're going to have different stations outside, like a garage almost area, where we're going to do a lot of the crafting and things. So I don't need to go too crazy with bringing everything inside, for sure. It's just going to be... Uh, here we go, let me pick up that bed there. I'm actually going to pick up one of the fireplaces. It'd be nice to have the fireplace in, I think. An exterior is just a house. The interior is what makes it a home. So we started to bring in the things from outside and began to personalize it to make it feel more comfortable. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, there we are. Now, does that look stupid with the chimney? No, that looks class. Oh, that's a good chip. Oh, that's not the door. <laughs> that's the window. That looks fantastic. Really, really happy with that. Superb. Okie doke. Right, now the bed. Where's the bed going to go? Um, Can I want a little corner bed? Maybe by the window here. Yeah, that'll look good, won't it? Just there, perfect. Now, do I need to set this as like a uh, beach bed? We need somewhere to like eat and chill, don't we? Uh, I just want, I want like maximum cozy vibes from this. There we are, there's a table. We don't have any chairs just now. What else can we do? I don't... Oh, we've got a standing torch. We don't really need a standing torch. Not inside. Well, I bet I is, but I'll just pop one there because when it gets dark outside, that'll be... Actually, no, I'm going to move that because my idea here is this. This magnificent idea was to have a row of forges outside the base but attached to the walls. This meant the inside was for living, chilling, and casual crafting. The outside would be where the heavy work would be done. It would also make my house look less like a cardboard box. Oh, does it need to be on a... Uh... Oh, I really wanted them to be like... Oh. Oh, it can. Oh, yes. There. Look at that. And then I was wondering, can I? If it, this look awesome, if it... Oh, oh it's, it's like a shelter. Look, it's like a shelter. Oh, you'd have that in real life. Yo, I need more of them. So I need another three of them, please. Yo. Oh my God, yes. This is... Can I get one more? Yes. Oh, that almost like... I mean, we're not going to put stuff on... Like, we're not using that as a walkway. But I do want to get a bunch more forges. What do I actually need for the forge again? As we were faffing about getting some more resources, we realised that a lot of our dinos were hungry. So we made sure that they all had enough to eat, and while we were at it, checked their levels. Ten levels as well. Melee damage... Oh my god, just get that health up. Oh my days, you are... Look at all of you! Right, I want all of their health up. <laughs> oh my god, I needed you guys in this cave. Honestly, I mean this. I know I've said it a couple of times now, and each time I've ate my, ate my words, but I tell you, we're going to dominate the cave when we go back. Dominate. Oh, look at this. The whole squad, man. The <laughs> Wait, oh, I need, I need, oh, this is, this is it. This is awesome. Ah. Oh. I think maybe this is what's so good about Ark is that I had so much pleasure and, <laughs> and satisfaction for doing the really little things at the very beginning. Like throw back to when we built the first kind of thatch shack that we did. Oh, what an incredible feeling it was. I felt like, oh, I've got my first home. Um, and then when we, uh, way back, we, we tamed Ron, you know, for the first time, and then Harry, and obviously, God rest their soul, they're not with us anymore. 
But then you move on to things like this and you always... I mean, there'll come a point where you won't. But for me, still very much so, you still have that level of wow, wow, wow. And I just think that's still going to come for, you know, quite a long time longer. So I'm very, very happy. Very, very content. Um, Right. So everybody's fed. Let's save the game. Everyone was fed and leveled up so we could get back doing the incredibly exciting task of gathering resources. But eventually, we had enough to build some more forges. So we'll get another... Here we go. Right. Another forge. Another forge, please. Nope. Shit. I need more stone. Here's some I made earlier. All right. Now, actually, for real this time, no joke another forge and i want like three row three there maybe four can we yeah we'll probably put four in just underneath so i can constantly be having like metal and stuff on the go but uh, i don't want to like waste like resources now we can two's plenty for now i think uh look, i probably need some more wood and uh, let me just get half of that and uh put that there right quickly just go and get some wood just so we can keep them going for a very long time we wanted to ensure that we had as much metal as possible. So by having the four forges, this would allow us to be constantly smelting a large quantity of metal for use in crafting and repairs. There we go. Loads of wood. Right, that will keep them going for a while. Awesome. Very good. Oh, beautiful. Let me just shut the windows, shut the door. because we don't, Obviously, we don't want the smoke going in. Ah! <laughs> So good. So good. I feel like that front bit looks very cardboard. Ooh. Stone pillars. That would make things look cool. Stone pillars. Let's put that there. What do we need for that? Thatch, wood, and stone. So, fuck. Let's just do a quick wood run, I think. Um, wouldn't you know another wood run? You wouldn't believe how much wood that I was getting through. But listen, I'm a forgetful person. I have a mind like a shotgun. Short, sharp, and inconsistent. One minute I'm thinking of one thing, and then something happens and my consciousness is taken into a completely different direction. And because of this, we completely forgot about the stone pillars. Right, what were we what what were we building? What was I doing? I need a wood for something, didn't I? What was that? <clears throat> What, what was I doing? Genuinely, what was I doing? I mean, it wasn't this, but I built a chair. I know I need that. So let me just build that real quick. And then... Am I really that heavy still? So, I'm actually going to pick this mortar and pestle up. The mortar and pestle, I'm going to think how I would, would kind of do this in real life. I would have the mortar and pestle here on the table on the inside. Because it's more delicate. And delicate stuff goes in on the inside. So I'll put this on the edge of the table there. And then the chair that we've built. Yo, you're not coming in. You stay outside. The chair we want. We would have. I would have it like facing inwards like that. So we'll have dinner. Dinner while looking at the fire. Right, chill, 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 chill. I, I genuinely can't remember for the life of me why... I needed wood. Still not remembering about the stone pillars, we decided to move one of the most important bits of equipment. Cool. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the smithy up here. I'm going to have that at the front as well. Perfect. And then I'm probably going to do the same thing. In fact, what I could do... What if I got a little... i going to block that bit off. How would I do that? How would I do that? Crafting. Quarter wall, maybe? Oh, yes. Now, that might be to that. So, if I get a couple that side. Right, hold up. So, if I get three more of them. Oh, it's... Right, no, I need to put these down first. Oh, I've just remembered. Stone pillars. That's what I was doing the wood for. Right, we'll do that in there. Oh, shit. Oh, that might not work. We can't put one there. Okay, the smithy might just have to be out in the open. Never mind. 
Never mind. I, I kind of forgot about that. It'll be cool if there was some sort of terraforming. There's probably a mod for that, realistically, isn't there? There's probably a mod for that. All right, we'll keep some metal, some fiber, and that there. The hide, I think, as well. Oh, we can put... Uh-oh. Oh, you give me the heebie-jeebies. You wait till I've got narco berries. You wait till I've got narco berries. Uh, what we, we can do, though, is we will put one on... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of floaty, which is a little bit annoying. But we'll hopefully forget about that in due course, okay? Okay. Stone pillars. That was it. That's what we were doing. What do they what do they actually look like? Let's find out. Let's find out. Right, so seven. Now that our momentary amnesia had subsided and we had remembered about the stone pillars, we made as many as we possibly could. In my eyes, the stone pillars made all the difference. They completely transformed our home from a standard box house into something that looked more real, more lived in. I had been building for a while at this point, a couple of hours at least, and the best way that I can describe it is hypnotic. I was utterly content in dredging around the beach, collecting resources and just adding things into my home. It was incredibly addictive and calming, tranquil almost. I really, really hope that nothing interrupts us. So that's the corner. So what, actually, what does it look like from the inside? Oh, cool. Okay. Right, then I want a couple more. Seven. Oh, that looks kind of cool, no? Yes. Get these either side of the doorway. Everybody, everybody help, everybody help, everybody help, everybody help, everybody help, everybody help. Get the raptor down. Everybody fucking attack my target. Go. Oh. Oh my god, it doesn't stand a chance. It doesn't stand a chance. Please die. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> oh my god, you all had my back so much. God, I genuinely felt proud then. I genuinely felt proud. Save the game. God, the alpha came out of absolutely nowhere. Holy hell. Hey, you guys did amazing. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit slow. Oh shit, we can get all the good meat, yes. I couldn't believe how quickly my army had eradicated that Alpha Raptor. It was a genuine sense of accomplishment that I felt at this. Of course, we gathered up its mutilated carcass and cooked as much of the primate as possible. We knew that a bunch was going to spoil, but this was absolutely okay as we were going to need as much spoiled meat as possible to make some more narcotics. The day had been busy and tiring and the sun began to set. As it did, we decided to add a cooking area outside our home so that we might be able to cook in the openness of the night air. Listen, I don't know if I'll ever get any friends. Sometimes it's just good to imagine. So we're going to stick a couple there. And then we can chill by the campfire when we're cooking, looking out into the... I mean, it's a sea. It's not particularly calming view, but hey, with the northern lights, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Awesome. So that's going to go there. So it means we can prep food and stuff here, and then that can go bang, bang, bang into those, which is good. Um, do I want a campfire also? No, I think that that's good there. Maybe keep a campfire there. Um, right, this big storage container, what do we have in it? Can I carry everything here? We had one final thing to build before we called it a day. Now I know what you're thinking. The house is pretty small, much smaller compared to the castle. 
Now, I hear your complaints, but fear not, YouTube viewer, I have this covered. We were going to build a storage slash garage area outside our home with enough storage to fit your mum in it. It was made simply out of thatch and wood. Nothing too crazy or complicated, but simplistic and necessary. This is not bad for building this all in one stint. I've been going for two and a half hours at the moment. And I think we're doing pretty well. I mean, I'm absolutely exhausted right now. But um, I've been really enjoying this. Right, what we're going to have here is stone and flint. Stone and flint in one. Again, it's going to take us a while till we remember exactly where everything is. But we're going to have wood in there. Stone, wood, and then don't really know what in there. We arranged our materials and resources in a way that I will absolutely forget later, so let's not pay too much attention to it, shall we? Instead, we started to bump a whole lot more stone pillars onto the house to really make it look a little bit more extra and sexy. Oh, this is looking good, honestly. It has taken me a very long time, and as weird as it sounds... I, I know I know this hasn't been an action-packed episode, and not, not all of them can be. However, this, I think, has been... I think this has been the most fun I've had on Ark yet, and I can't tell you exactly why. It's just, I've literally just been sat here chilling for the longest time just building this, and it has been so much fun just to, like, mess about with and... Oh god, I need more stone. It's just been completely and utterly hypnotic. Usually I'd be like, oh, this is quite a bit boring, but this is this has been insane. I've thoroughly enjoyed this. And it's coming together nicely. So we've just got a little bit more that I want to do um, in terms of the stone pillars. And then we're kind of finished for today, I think. There's more we want to add out in terms of we need to protect the dinosaurs. So we definitely... We definitely need to make, need to make like a pen and, and some defenses. Obviously, we had a T Rex just down the way. We've had a couple of pretty juicy claws that have um, come a little bit too close. We're good. Come, come here. But this, this is my village. This, this genuinely is my village. Like this is where I see this going. Just building a massive kind of instead of having the castle where we pretty much had everything that we needed within the castle we have the basics the coziness the valuables within the cabin we'll call it a cabin it looks like a cabin and then everything else is going to be dotted about and then we're probably going to put a big wall around it as well so we're super super safe but th this is the village it's the start of something special right uh that's all there i'm gonna put those there don't want to go too to Pete Tong, but I do like having these up there. I just think this makes it look much less kind of cardboardy. Ooh, there we go, on the roof. Right, not really anybody can see this, but we'll know it's there. And because we'll know it's there, we'll appreciate it. Look at that. That looks better than I thought it was going to. There it fuck's sake the intention seeking prick i want to have a look i really like it it doesn't look too much like a cardboard box it kind of looks like it's it's defended that it's strong again i really wish i could put some like diagonal um beams across there but we've got the furnaces on the go we've got the smithy we've got our fridges we've got a beautiful place that we can just sit <laughs> oh we can sit and watch the sunset while like cooking on our little cabin. I am genuinely quite proud about making this. I, I refuse to Google templates. I did think about it. I thought, what if I go and try and find something to build and try and replicate and, and recreate? But I made this completely off my own back and I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, troops, I need to go to bed. But listen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the support on the series so far. It's genuinely just been incredible. I cannot tell you how fun it is for me to be able to play games and for people to be invested in the playthrough to be commenting on the videos and and you know when, when somebody comments and says oh this you know it was really funny when this happened or that was fucking awesome when when this happened that it honestly it, it, it does it warms me cockles but most importantly thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take it easy Click and scroll.